Did you notice what time it is? It's time for the Visual Studio Code October release. This is a really exciting one. Let's go take a look at some of the highlights in it. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The most sought after feature is finally hitting stable. I am talking about multi-root workspaces. Now hold back your excitement and keep that focus for just a bit to see how you can start using it. All right, let's say we have an Angular project currently open and there's another API project we want to add that supports this UI. If you like to keep your hands on the keyboard, we can use the command palette to open it up. We start by typing in the command to add folder to workspace and press enter when we see it selected. This then prompts us with the underlying operating system file explorer where we can find the API project, select it, and click add. This creates an untitled workspace for us, showing the root folder for each project within it. Once a workspace has been created, we have plenty of options for adding more folders if we need it. One of them is through the right-click menu, but maybe you're also working from within the terminal. There, you can type out code with the add flag and the folder name to have it added to the existing workspace. In this case, I've added the new project using the insiders version of the command. When your workspace is all set, you can save it to open it up later. Bring up that command palette and type save workspace to see this option. There, you can provide a name and location to save it. After that, you can switch between workspaces by running the open workspace command through the command palette again, and then select the workspace file you're looking for. All of these options are also available through different file menus. Source control fits in seamlessly by showing you the current status for each individual project. We're able to examine and control the changes we want to make, such as stage, commit, and push, just as we would in the past with a single project open. Debugging a multi-root workspace also provides great control over each individual project within it. The launch options indicate which project it corresponds to through the name in parentheses. Need to add a new launch configuration for a specific project? Well, that's there too. When I want to quick open a file, the prompt will indicate which folder the file is located in so I can avoid any confusion. In addition to that, if I have two files with the same name located in multiple root folders, such as a package.json type file, the file tabs will update to indicate which root folder each one is located in. There's a lot more functionality available to us when using workspaces, and you can find out more about what's supported in its dedicated documentation. Oh, you're really going to like this. The source control status of your files will now show up in the file explorer. That means if you do things like add a file or modify an existing one, you'll get an indication of it in the viewlet. You can also see pending changes in line with your code. Click the colored indicators found in the well to bring up the quick view. There, you have the option to navigate between changes, revert them, or stage them. It even supports partial staging, so you don't have to commit the entire file of changes. How great is that? You asked, and the VS Code team answered. Vertical panel layout is now supported so you can move things like the terminal or debug console around, switch between horizontal and vertical view, and easily access hidden panels through a dropdown when space gets limited. A nice little touch to the extensions viewlet has been added to provide recommendations based on the types of files you're working on. This should really help you discover items that can boost your productivity even more. Lastly, the VS Code team knows how much you want to see where things are headed, so they've now provided a wiki which includes a six-month roadmap. Give it a read to better understand what the future holds for this awesome editor. And that wraps up the highlights in this release. If you want to find out about some of the other features that are jam-packed in it as well, take a look at the release notes. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.